Uh oh. Uh, you want so why did you guys choose Tamworth? The Tamworth is identified as the from the uh, American Livestock Breed Conservancy to be a threatened species, and it's not like uh, animals being put on the endangered list and you shouldn't uh, butcher them or anything like that. They uh, identify breeds that are threatened and other various levels to encourage farmers to raise the numbers of the herds. So that's one of the reasons we took on the Tamworth. From an eating standpoint, the uh, Tamworth is a long hog. It's a little longer than some of the standard hogs. It gives you a longer side that way, so you get a lot of nice bacon. They call it a bacon hog. The red color is kind of handy in the summertime. They don't get sunburn. So, uh, when they're outdoors, just rooting around out there, they uh, a little safer. They don't get burned like the other hogs. But one thing that we found too that's been kind of a um, a nice thing is they have a really nice temperament. Um, and I think that most animals, if you spend any time with them, they will. But all of the Tamworths we've had just have been. Uh, they're easier to take care of. They're not breaking out of the fences all the time and things like that. It, uh, they just have a pretty good temperament. So now, these take longer to reach market weight than a like an average the market or commodity weight. I think probably well, about a month or so longer, maybe. Okay. You guesstimate the weight, and uh, you measure the length and the girth. And we did get some measurements uh, last weekend, and and figured some of these last weekend to be probably somewhere in the neighborhood of around 250 pounds. So they're real close. Um, what uh, what do they get for feed? Uh, uh, it's a ground corn. And uh, Kevin, what else is in the... Uh, Pretty much a standard uh, farm, all mixer type of thing. There's vitamins, minerals, salt and things like that to uh, boost up the corn. So it's a uh, ground corn along with some vitamins and minerals. So you said that these are a leaner hog, and that's the back fat as well as the the fat within the muscle. Right, all right. All of the all of the fat that you're going to get in the side and the back fat, uh, just just leaner all along, all around. And they like to play. <laughs> <laughs> they seem like happy pigs. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, they're happy pigs. They get in this fresh bedding and they just love to root around and have a good time. That type of thing. Yeah, back 40 acres uh, here at our family farm. Uh, the farm has been in our family since 1864. Uh, my great-great-grandfather uh, bought the farm and it's passed it down through the years. And My dad took over the farm in uh, 1962 and moved out here with all of us kids. And uh, When we were growing up we raised we had cattle and sheep and some chickens and raised all the corn and hay and oats and things like that for feed and then as we all moved away uh, my dad was just uh, leasing out the fields to a local guy that did crop farming and my brother Kevin came back around and uh, started getting a little bit more involved raising some rabbits and tried out these broiler chickens and uh, that went along real good and so to kind of build on that a little bit he uh, asked Stephanie and I if we wanted to get involved in the farm and so we did and we incorporated uh, back 40 acres uh, three years ago and um, it's just been growing ever since so now we're uh, we did about 1600 broiler chickens last year around 120 turkeys uh, several batches of hogs, uh, some sheep and goats, many rabbits, and anyway, it's uh, turned into a nice little farming business, and uh, we enjoy it. It's uh, it's nice to be able to raise raise good food for people, uh, and of course, we eat pretty. Well. You know, we want to do things right, do things uh, in a sustainable way. Um, you know, we don't use any kind of growth hormones or antibiotics or anything like that. And, uh, you know, the, I think the, the proof is really in the product. And uh, we've had a lot of really good uh, 
feedback from all sorts of folks that we've we've sold meat to uh, that they just uh, they just really enjoy it. So you know, farming's been in our family all of our lives, even though we've taken other jobs outside the farm to to keep us going. Uh, you know, it'd be nice to be able to do this full time someday, but uh, you know, right now it's a nice little uh, second job for us.